Okay, I'm, I just received this package and I didn't think this was coming until like 10 more days, but it just showed up at my door. So that was kind of cool. So this is new dining chairs. We have two chairs here. Then we did a bench on the other side, but the bench, this is so annoying. They're the same brand. This bench is the same brand as these chairs. And this color was named as natural and this color was named as natural, but they're clearly two totally different colors. So I'm gonna try to sell this bench on Marketplace and then I ordered the two more chairs. So we're assembling them right now. Gia is like, what the hell's going on? And I'm just getting those put together for the table. And I really just didn't like how it was uneven. Like when you look at it, where it looks like you just have two chairs and you can't see the bench. So I'm swapping that out and then this is a new fruit bowl I got. It's, um, I got it from a vintage store and it's like a super expensive bowl that I looked up while I was there. And I think it's so funky and cool. So we're just using that as our fruit bowl right now. And this thing is so wrinkly, like what the hell? Okay. Anyways, um, I'm gonna continue assembling this chair. Looking much better. So good. And still lots of room. Okay, I got a little Sephora package, just mostly, just mostly a restock of things I needed. Um, but I got this dry shampoo in a sample, like just a small version of it over, I actually got it like in October and it lasted me quite a while, just a little one. So I ended up getting the big one. I really, really like this. I don't use dry shampoo that frequently, but it does give you that like couple extra days if you need it and it also gives you texture which I really like and it claims to actually clean hair I don't know if that actually happens but it's better for your hair than the Batiste kind of that stuff I'm sure it's still not great for your hair but considering but um yeah no I really like this the smell is like decent as well so happy about that I picked up just a little puff for my setting powder foreground then I got the Ordinary Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I needed a new shampoo and conditioner. This looks pretty cost effective. It's only like 10 bucks a bottle. And then oh, this is open, so that's a bit weird. Um, I got the Lash Serum from the Ordinary. This is also pretty cheap. Then I got uh, the Boy Brow from Glossier. This is good stuff for setting your brows. I love that Sephora has Glossier now. That makes my life. Um, I got this lip plump from Tarte that everyone's been talking about. It's the one that seriously people are going crazy over. Clicker. Oh, it's different than I thought. How the hell does this work? You just click it? I don't know. I'll try this on in a little bit. And then I restocked on my foundation. This is the foundation I use. I love it. I've used it for many, many years. And I feel like it's light and buildable and has SPF and it's good for your skin. And then lastly, I got my new, or sorry, a restock on the Lash Slick in brown, which I use every day for my mascara. Good morning. I feel like it's been a while since I've talked on here. So I'm just, I'm out of breath. I'm hungry. I'm waiting right now. I'm going into Clinic 805 for an appointment. We're doing this whole feature on like facial balancing. So we've done this before, but we're gonna put some Botox in my masseters, which kind of does help at night. I clench a lot. Um, it's like, it gets so bad that like Jay will have to massage my jaw before going to bed. But um, so I we can feel like, I can feel that they're back. So we're gonna do that. But last time we noticed it also helped like really like slim out my face. And then we're gonna see, I'm gonna do a little bit of IPL um, and we'll see what else happens, but um, I'm going to try to film there. I'm also trying to film for a reel, so for a partnership I do with the clinic. So I'm kind of like managing double cameras, but I think it will be great. I picked up a coffee. I'm on day like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Have I gone that long? Yeah, so I'm on day 12 of no coffee, which or no caffeine at all, which is crazy to me. 
and I don't want to do this forever. Like I do love coffee and I love the taste of it, but the way I'm feeling has been crazy. Like I have so much energy. I'm never that sleepy in the morning. Obviously like in the first seconds when you wake up, you're a little bit tired, but I'm never like, oh, I want to stay in bed kind of vibes. So this is a rooibos tea latte, which I've been loving rooibos tea. It's herbal, so that's nice. And it kind of has that like I don't know, it has that flavor like it's not a herbal tea. Like, it kind of tastes like an Earl Grey, but it's caffeine-free, which is great. I have an exciting weekend ahead, as always. I feel like there's always something going on on the weekends, but I have a friend's birthday party up in Parksville on Friday. It's her 30th, so we're spending the night in Parksville, just like girls doing charcuterie and wine and this and that. And then on Saturday, I am coming home because on Sunday... Um, is the showcase and so we'll be prepping for that early on Sunday getting everything sorted getting just our ducks in a row for our showcase and then we have a week left of practice with bikes and then we go on Friday to see the sky so really it's gonna be a bit of a whirlwind again these next two weekends but um, it's, I don't know, it's fun and exciting and I like to be busy so I think it'll be great and um, yeah, let's just see how this appointment goes. I'll check in with you guys soon. starts and it ends like you can actually feel it on her it's crazy so um, it just takes a little bit longer typically the onset for um, cosmetic but well Botox in the top part of the face the onset is usually within about 72 hours it peaks at about two weeks so this is longer six weeks and then it takes about six months for the, um, the Botox to gradually metabolize Okay, I just submitted an offer for my clients. Right now it's 9.59, so 10 a.m. Um, I'm heading up to Parksville. As you can hear, like, my voice, I don't know what's going on with my throat, but the back of my throat feels kind of not sore. It's, like, really dry, which is weird. Um, but I'm heading up to Parksville. I The offer's open until 9 p.m. tonight, so I'm just going to have to work while I'm there. So I'm packing my laptop and everything, but... Um, yeah, uh, I hope we can bring this one together for my clients. They've been looking for a long time. They kind of went through the, the whole COVID crazy market and they're just kind of, they're ready, but they're choosy. So they're not just going to settle for something, but they definitely want to find a place to live. So they're getting married in like two weeks. So they ideally would have something set up for them to move into once they get home from their honeymoon. So Fingers crossed, I don't like to cross fingers, I'll knock on wood, um, that we can get an acceptance today. That would be amazing. And uh, I am basically, it's 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to go stop and get gas on the way and then head to my friend Nikki's house and pick up some of our friends. And then we're going to head up. And now that the offer is sent, I can chill for a bit until we hear a response, which probably won't be for a couple hours anyway. So off I go and uh, yeah. Let's get it going. Girls weekend. We're celebrating my friend's uh, birthday. I think I said that, but it's her 30th birthday. So we're celebrating that. And then I come home tomorrow. I'm coming home early from the weekend because I need to get prepared because Sunday is the showcase. So busy weekend overall um, as usual. But let's go. I'm vlogging this weekend. Birthday girl. <laughs> I 
think so. God, I'm such a speedy little driver. This is perfect weather. serious walk. There were a lot of hazards. It was, it was tough. We did survive though. We, made it. we almost we lost some shoes along the way. And now we are snacking and trying to go to the hot tub. I'm drinking. I'm drinking a straight and narrow. I made on Victoria Island. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I have to say. Yeah, exactly. In this moment. Thank you for that. <laughs> 